Hey there, Spike here in the frugal fixer shop over here in the guitar side. Yep, you know, strange crazy people have a way of making strange crazy people worse. And yep, this is on you, Sean. I'm on it. We're going to do it today. We're going to start. Uh, I got this fender. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. And then we're going to go out in the shop and cut this sucker up. See what it's going to take to get the neck out so we can cut a body for it. So. Got to start somewhere, and that's where I figured we'd start today. So let's get it cut up and see what's going on. Show you what it looks like inside. You ready? Let's go look. Okay, I think I left my microphone over at my dad's house because me and him working on a little project, working on a reel-to-reel -reel into his computer. So anyway, hope y'all can hear me when I'm talking here and what I'm working on. Sean's got me convinced into doing something crazy and well, Spike's on it. We got this Fender California series here. This is a relationship guitar we talked about. And uh, it had a rough, rough relationship. Yeah, that's for sure. And it's tore all to pieces. It's got holes here and broke here in the corners. I mean, it's terrible. But the neck seems to be good. So we're going to go out in the shop and take something to it and cut it out and carve it out and see what we can get that we could put into a block of wood and make that guitar Sean's talking about. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this thing out there and cut it up. So let's take a light, take a camera, just go do it out there in the dirty part of the shop. So let's go see what happens. You know, I don't want to make that mess in here. Y'all know how it works. It's hard enough to keep it clean as it is. Yeah, y'all do know. He does have a way to entice him to do something stupid, don't he? Thank you. Okay, folks, I'm out here in the working shop. I got a grinder, a smaller grinder. Well, I got saws. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff. We're gonna take his neck out of here. So we can see, tell you what we got to work with and how we're going to mount it in a body, okay? So, Sean, this is what's going to happen, brother. Let's make a mess. So I'm going to set that down and let it run. And it's so we're going to get busy and finish tearing up this California series Sonora. There ain't much left of it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's bring some carnage in the picture. There you go. Okay, dust mask up. Let's go see where we want to go in this thing. Okay, there's a block of wood right there for the neck, and there's a block it sets on, and there's the truss rod. Well, heck yeah. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. I was working on that Facebook over there and the computer died. I don't know how much of it I got, but I figured I had all the footage over here, so I'm gonna come back and talk to you about what I got. 
this is a pretty cool little neck y'all see it's a pretty cool neck but it's got this block in it here and i got to figure out how much of this to peel back or how to peel it back to get where i can use this fretboard without breaking it and get this to lock in and there's my truss rod adjustment so i got to get it back where it goes so we got to throw a little video together and uh sean if you're out there buddy i need a little advice how much of this take off how to go about taking it off to get back to where i can use this to put on that guitar and make what i want to make and I may end up shortening this thing too because I don't know if I'm going to go that deep. I think I'm going to make a ladder fairly sh shallow guitar. I don't, so we'll probably get that deep. I don't know. we got to figure that much out. When you see what I'm going to make, you're going to kind of freak out anyway. Uh, I don't know if you had an idea of any of doing this, but uh, I'm going to make a parlor guitar. Yeah. You know why? Because all the pieces of wood have got small and they won't make nothing but a parlor guitar. So that's what you're going to get. Hey, what is what it is. I'm having fun, buddy. Hey, you said put a challenge out. I'm going to have some fun with it. And uh, pick on me, let me know when I screw up so I can, make them, so I can fix my mistakes, okay? All of y'all, jump on in there and let me know. I appreciate everybody watching. Hey, it's all about having fun and making something, doing it a different way. And heck, this looks awful different, and I'm going to do it this way. You know, you can plan something. Think it's going to work out real good. Then you find this. Look at this. Y'all see that crack right there? Runs right up there and right underneath that tuner. And I never seen it until I just looked and added a few minutes ago after I would cut it out of that old guitar it was broke up in. So, you know something? For this first one, it ain't gonna hurt a darn thing. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna use it. We're going to put it in. If it breaks, guess what? We'll just make a neck. So let's go for it, guys. Let's see how that works out. Next thing coming. Okay. Spike here. I'm in the shop. I got that old neck cut off. And I'm waiting here back from you, Sean, so you can tell me how to trim this off. Because I don't want to go much further. So I get a little guidance, brother. Just to give me a little idea of which way to go to get that off there. So get a good look. I'll put some pictures on the Instagram for you. And see so you can give me some ideas and show me how to get rid of this green here. This green right here and here and tie this thing into this body we're going to make. Now, let me tell you about the body. I had this crazy idea. Hold on one second. Let me show you what crazy people do. Crazy people design something. And they like what they design so much, they want to do it more. So you see how this shape is. You see how that shape is there. I think I want to make my acoustic with that design, that body shape, but a little bigger. And definitely thicker than that for sure but that's what I got in mind is my ambrosia body style going into well something like that when it gets done I guess wouldn't be what it would look like when it gets finished but there won't be any pickups there'll just be a sound hole here and I'm gonna put a bridge uh, pick up under the bridge so something like that and if I make it kind of thin, I may have to do away with some of this. So y'all have to keep watching there. But hey, guys, now this is a project of craziness. And uh, I'm just doing whatever I want to on it. So y'all tell me this. Give me your ideas and tell me what you think. And uh, if you got suggestions, I'm going to listen to them and take them into, into, into thought. You know, I'm looking for a nice piece of wood for my top. But I found a couple of things here to work with. I got some... I got some mahogany. I got two, two pretty good little strips of that here. Let me, let me get this neck out of the way so I don't mess it up. And lay this body over out of the way for a minute. So I got two strips of that. And then I got some ambrosia maple. And I got some hard rock maple. I got a piece of black walnut that's long enough that I could get one, two good strips out of maybe. Now, if y'all watched what I built before, y'all know that I'm gonna take whatever I got and make something out of it. And you understand this here, the top of this guitar here was a piece of black walnut. 
till he got caught in a fire when I burned my shop up. And the back of this, you see that? That's the back of a piano, piece of piano wood. And you can see here where I fly cut it. And if you look real close, you see the veneer right there. And I fly cut the finish and left the veneer. So I get creative when I do things. So we're gonna get creative here. And we're gonna use a little bit of this ambrosia maple and maybe a little bit of this and maybe a chunk of this and well i hadn't quite figured out how i'm going to mix them yet but i kind of want the center of that right in a chunk of it somehow and some of this on each side but i don't know how much of it i got i gotta go look i may have to put a piece of it on each side and then we got some black walnut here we could put in the center for the for the center section like right in there and uh, if we were going to do a neck through, we could use a piece of this maple to do a neck through, but we'd turn it around and go that way to get us enough room to get a headstock. But, yeah, I'm kind of thinking that I maybe go with some of this and this and just kind of center this thing up like this on it, like that, and use a wing of it here, and then take the other piece and the wing on the other side so it's kind of like... It'll be a chunk of this and a piece of this on each side of it. And I think I can get it in. And that's if I do it, you know, pretty much at that size right there. So if I want to make it bigger, I'm going to have to pull out some bigger wood. So i got to go looking and see what i got out in the shop. But, uh, yeah, that's the general idea. I'm going to go this body style, but just kind of expand it a little bit maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, when you got little bits of wood, I guess you make a parlor guitar is what they call that thing. Am I right? So I think I got enough of these to work with to get started. And if not, my son's got some stuff he's called me about and told me today that he might have me something. And uh, we're looking for a nice piece of maple or something to make the top out of. So we're, we're digging for that. And uh, we'll find something we want to make it out of. We got 6.9%, folks. I think that might be, might be ready to make something for sure with. We got this mahogany that we had some nice pieces here. Let's see what we get on them. That's about eight and a half. Some ambrosia maple. This may be a little wetter. 9.3 on that one. See there? What we get? 9.3. So, yep. Yeah. So, we got a piece of black walnut here. Let's see what this reads. Oh, that's about 6.3 right there, that piece of black walnut. So, so yeah, I got some nice, good dry stock here to work with and i'm gonna find my little chart tells me what the other woods are already that on in this chart here let's turn it off and save the battery yep cheap little moisture meter it worked from the harbor freight but it works you know and that's good enough for me i go to the little i go to the wood store i take it to make sure i ain't buying something i can't use so yeah that's some of the stuff we got to work with and work on here to make this thing out of and well we could put some of that that we could put some of that maple in the, in the middle of that thing too, I guess. I don't see why we couldn't. You know something? I got a bunch of this. It's got some pretty grain to it. I'm getting an idea. You know that, don't you? You know, I got enough of this maple here to make a top that thick instead of, you know, make the back of it that thick and make the top of it well that thick. How about two and a half inches inside. Hmm. I don't know, Sean. If I don't find something else, I may be laminating some of this together to make that, you know? So. But I hate to use it up, because that may go for good next later on. So, let me look. I got some more black walnut around there, and some more uh, mahogany, and a little bit more maple, and I got some pine too, but I don't want to no pine in this guitar. If you got any ideas, suggestions, or whatever, I'd sure love to hear them. Drop me up a thumbs up if you would, and hey, subscribe so you know when it's coming, and ring that little dingy dingy bell, and hey, I'm going to do my best to make something, and well, it ain't going to make sense, we know that, because I'm following the lead, and uh, yeah, when you're an old man, and you're crazy, and you follow crazier people, well, somebody you think might be crazier than you, you never know, he might not be, because <laughs> I, I got a longer track record of crazy than you do, Sean, <laughs> remember that. Hey, stay out of trouble. Come see me sometime. Door's always open here at the Frugal Fixer Shop.